The first mumbo pad is over this way. Yabba yabba yabba, there he is. This is kind of claustrophobic back in here, I don't know. Hope this works. But you don't have to hope, Mumbo, you know it's gonna work. Just do your thing. Eat your up, in your up, in your ass, up your ass. Dodum Dome. Looks like another mini game. I think there's a Jinjo on top of that. Hey, the Mumbo, or uh, did you see that Globo just ran away? <laughs> And yet, he still has him. For the next spell. Okay, and then there's one more inside, actually. This is what I always forget about this world, is that there's not just areas jutting out from the central area of the tent, but there's also more areas that you can go inside from those areas and see entire new areas like this. Like the star spin a... You can't get me, I'm casting spells now. Hope this works. Well, I hope it doesn't work. No, actually, I do. I hope it works, and I know it's going to. I hope it's not an issue. It's not relevant. You can actually go up to the side of that machine there and use a grenade egg to blow out something there, and it looks different after you've destroyed it with the grenade egg. And yet, this still works for some reason. Yeah, that's going to be a real fun jiggy to get. Just look at that. Boy, oh boy. That's harder than it looks, trust me. <laughs> I had to do it like two or three times. But that's the kind of stuff you do all the time in Super Mario Galaxy, though. I mean, holy crap. It's just super... Oh, man. Oh, shut up. I know you're a Minjo. And then we got some water here. That's interesting. Because they don't want to get electrocuted, after all. Where's the exit? I can't find the exit. You know, did you go to the dungeon? Oh. Anyway... Nobody in the world is going to get that, much less understand why I thought of that quote. But if you must know, I was talking about the Alanis Morissette's on front row. She says something about the dungeon, but then she says the word dungeon like two times. So I thought that was funny, because I said the word exit two times. It made me think of that song, because of how awkward it sounded that I was saying it two times in a row. I don't know. It's like when Quentin Tarantino says, You gonna go call some people? Or whatever, in Pulp Fiction. Anyway, I was watching a bunch of scenes from that this morning. <laughs> I forgot how funny that movie was. Especially the part where he shoots him in the car. That's just like, what the hell? It's like, man, I didn't know hit no motherfucking bump in the road, man. Man, I've seen some fucked up shit but in my time. But oh my god. Okay. Just nobody can do that like Samuel L. Jackson. Nobody. Nobody ever will. Okay, so what have we done now here? What can we do? I guess we could go to Space World. Well, we could actually go ahead and get this one here, since we're here. Might as well not waste too much time here. Okay, so we have a junk, or uh, a thing there that makes a pad appear. But the thing of it is, when you step off of that, the pad disappears, I'm pretty sure. I'm not totally sure, but I think it does. Or it might be on a timer, I forget. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna need to get Banjo and Kazooie separated. There are separation pads in here, I know. Oh, okay, they're right here. Duh. <laughs> so, let's get separated. Now, Banjo, it's gonna be up to you. I don't know how you're gonna get across there. It's will have to take you the long way. So I'm not getting hurt any more than I have to. So we get him to step on the switch and notice how it's shiny, which means I'll be able to switch to Kazooie from here. Otherwise, you know, like I said before, you can't switch to Kazooie. Hey, wait a minute. Ooh, I'm starving. Give me some fries and I'll leave quietly. Dude, I got some fries. Hey, hang on. I'll go ahead and give them to you now, because I can't leave with them. Wait. Uh. I think you have to be Banjo and Kazooie together. Or I might have lost those fries because I died. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Anyway... Well, what's your... Oh, why did I do that? It's over here. So the jiggy is at the top of the call, and you could see that earlier when I made the jump, jump pad up here. So what we're going to do is uh, get to the top here. And we're going to do it without dying, preferably. Just watch out for these guys. Just be careful. <laughs> it's a lot easier to die here than you think. Jeez, what am I talking about? 
What am I talking about? What did I just say? <laughs> Poor Kazooie, that was such a savage looking death. She just like... Oh. Alright, let's try that again. I didn't know one of the kids was in here, jeez. I didn't see her earlier. Well, hell, if you stay on the inside, it looks like they don't even hit you. <laughs> yeah, sure enough. Stay on the inside of the track, they don't even hit you. How about that? That's stupid. Good lord, man. Sure saves the trouble of trying to use that awkward kazooie jump sometimes. Okay, so take off the shoes, you're done. And jump to the top! Oh, no, 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 you got your jiggy. Piece of cake. Oh, sorry, kazooie, I was trying to... I didn't know you were gonna land there. Okay, and get time to get back together with Banjo again. Time to reconcile your differences. Uh -huh. That sounds like reconciliation to me. All right, where's that kid at? Where's that brat? I got your fries. The other kid that I found earlier wanted the hamburger, so I could have given it to him. But you got fries. Can I have some? Can I? Can I? Sure thing. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> What is that supposed to be on her dress? Ladybugs or something? Go see if Mom is ready to leave. Thanks for finding the little scamp for me. There's still another one to find, though. I know. And he's the biggest pain in the ass, because we have to get a move from World 5 to actually get his fat ass back to you. And that's going to be real fun. Because when you feed him the hamburger, he gets even fatter. And then he can't, like, literally, he can't get up to, to go back to his mom. So you have to carry him. But, uh, and you can't carry him in the van. I thought maybe you could. That would have been cool if you could. But, I guess you got enough stuff to do as a van anyway. How are we doing anyway on on this world? We got six out of ten Jiggies. We got two, three Honeycombs. One out of three Cheetos. Three out of five Jinjos and only 80 notes. Wow. That's very strange. But I think most of it is in the space zones where the rest of my stuff is. That's really the only place I haven't really thoroughly explored. Especially, you know, as Banjo and Kazooie. Some tells me I should have gone the other way here. I think I... Let's see what we got. No, I still haven't opened the hamburger shop yet. I'll do that eventually. Nice try. Nice shot, but you missed. Yeah, see, this you open up as Mumbo, but the game you actually play as a van, I think. But we'll, we'll find out. No, you don't play the game as a van, but you can actually open a door in here as a van, see? Right here. This is where you pay to enter Witchy World's premium attractions! Yeah, so you gotta go back, turn into a van, and then come back here as Banjo and Kazooie. See what a pain in the ass this is? I mean, like, seriously. I'll go ahead and do the star game, and then we'll just... I'm not even bothering with trying to figure out, like, what... Wait a minute, there's three things here. Oh, but I have to open a van. No, no, that's... I already did that. That had the note in it. Or the treble clef, whatever. Okay, so what you gotta do here now that you've activated this is just jump on the stars. And keep the camera moving so you can tell where the next star is. And land on it. And the final star will take you to the planet. You know the planet? Well, I didn't see it, dude. Go back. Go back up. There we go. There it is. Oh, man. Okay, you definitely want to be on Kazooie when you start this. I don't know how to describe when you're supposed to jump here, but you kind of want to wait until your side of the planet is going up. Like, don't do it when it's going down like this. So it's going up, and then you can make the jump for it. There you go. Not too bad. And we're gonna. Okay, well, we broke some of the damage there, I think. <laughs> Could have been worse. See, this thing right here is what I'm talking about. I'm not. I hope I'm not like. Okay. Oi, you vandal! You'll have to pay for any damage caused, you know. <laughs> well, it's... Yeah, we didn't do any damage. It doesn't matter anyway. I'll take that, honey. Alright, let's go back and get changed into a van. It's not gonna take that long. I don't know if I'll cut or not. 
Because it's only going to take like 30 seconds to get there with the warp point. The warp points are just... God, if they didn't put those in this game, I don't even know what to tell you. Because this would be so freaking tedious if you didn't have these. <laughs> and especially if they didn't strategically always put one right by Wumba's place and Mumbo's place so that you could get to them so easily. Otherwise, oh my god, I just don't even want to imagine. Okay, so switch me up. It almost looks like a washing machine. Who's your Yeager? So let's ride. That just goes back to the top, so no Back to the top up by her hut, I mean. Okay, what all did we miss here? 